Cometh the Sunday, cometh the Jeff, by Dean George. All Americans should be measured against their greatest and their best. Who better than the one man who works on the day of rest? Who, like the founding fathers, set a bold proclamation to get their flutter on and define a struggling nation? One who should have lived sooner, as the greatest generation paraded, who only wept their salt tears when Jason Arnott was traded. From Toys R Us to Suncoast, building the land of the free, asking only for free cookies and Star Wars, VHS and DVD. In troubled times that may still come, we look to you to set the bar. The red and white stripes salute you. Sunday Jeff, our guiding star. Time to lace up those skates and talk about hockey with Walt, Rye, Ming, and Sunday Jeff. These are the Puck Nuts. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Puck Nuts Presents the Three Ming Circus Rants, Raves, and Revelations. My name is Ming Chen. Sunday Jeff. Sunday Jeff, just me and you this time. Uh, back, back to the way it used to be. Back to the way it used to be. You know what the uh, the best review I read um, when it was just me and you those past couple weeks. It was on iTunes. Uh, one guy just simply said, Ming and Sunday Jeff are gods. And I got to agree with that. I agree with that. And after uh, what has it been, two, three weeks where we barely talked about sports, I think it's time to get back on track. Um, I, I'm, I'm covering a wide variety here today. So if there's, you know, something comes up you have no interest in, then something, you know, something's, give it my pass. something's bound to come up. Um, there, there are a couple of baseball tidbits, real short. But and uh, uh, Jeff, you came in here toting a uh, toting a big can here, and uh, I think we should try to reach out, maybe try to get some sponsorship. So uh, this episode brought to you by Arnold Palmer, <laughs> uh, half and half, half iced tea, half lemonade. I, I love love how you asked Walt if he's ever had one before, and he just Arizona. Uh, you got to get Arizona's. Uh, is, is it Arizona by Ar- yeah, it's, it's Arizona? Ar- Arizona iced tea. Arizona owns Ar- Arnold Palmer now. All right. Awesome. All right. Do you watch golf at all? No. Never? If golf it, tasted that good, I might <laughs> start watching it. If golf tasted as good as an Arnold Palmer. I um I mean I'll I'll, I'll watch it if it's on. And um yeah even before the whole drama with uh with Tiger. I don't um, watch golf. I I can't st- I just that's almost Some of those guys are interesting though. I always mm. thought uh, like Tom Kite was somewhat interesting. Uh, unfortunately, it's it's that in baseball. I can't really is watch. is golf a sport, Jeff? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> well, they, they you, call um, it as uh, we went through this. They they think it's a sport. You know, it's. I mean, you do have to have some skill. I mean, as far as to get to, they give you a certain amount of strokes. I think for each course. Yeah. I mean, I, again, I really don't follow. Have you ever swung much. a club? You ever been to a driving? Uh, yeah, range? I went to driving rings, but you know, I'd go through them because my father played golf. And so uh, when he would take his, me to the driving range, I would just hit the balls like they're just, you know, like I, I'd go through. The, they give you a basket of them. I'd yeah. blow through them in like a matter of a minute. That's it? You know, just like, take your it time. looked like a machine gun shooting out into the <laughs> into the distance. And yet your your father kept bringing you. I guess he had to. Yeah, no, he took me out golfing one time. And, you know, it's I didn't actually play golf. I just drove the uh, the cart. So I, I kind of like took now, a joyride now for that's a while. sport. That's a sport right there. The cart? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I uh, I've never driven one before. Is it true there there are no brakes? No, there, there's um I don't remember if there was, but I think you just take your foot off the gas and it comes to a, a stop a pretty, car, so you pretty coast quick. <laughs> yeah, it's an electric car, but it's you know I disappeared for a while. He got pissed off because you know was, he's looking to get to the next. Uh, you know he had I guess he drove from wherever he was at and he yeah. uh, you know wanted to go and pick up his ball. <laughs> and yeah. I'm just doing laps around the golf course saying, "Ah, fuck that, this is fun." <laughs> All right. Uh, one one other big announcement here is uh, if you listened a couple weeks ago, Sunday Jeff got his own Pucknuts action figure, courtesy of our, our buddy uh, Scott, the Scott Fitz uh, Fitzsimmons, the Fitz Fitzman seventy three on Twitter. Follow him, and uh, we got a package in the mail today. Uh, Sunday Jeff, open it up. I now have my own my very own Ming Chen Pucknuts action figure. Here you go. It's pretty sweet. Uh, it's it's in a uh, it's in packaging. And everything, and uh, it 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 looks like me, 
the proportions, if you put it up next to yours or any other action figure, uh, I think it's probably proportionate to me. I'm wearing a devil's jersey. You're a young boy in this. Uh, uh, I'm wearing a, an Orioles colored hat. I love how I love how Scott just got us, got me pretty much spot on. And if you look close, you know, I think you know he Frankenstein a couple figures to make this. And if you look at the uh, the face, it's a uh, it's it's definitely short round from Temple of Doom. So now we need two. We got the last two, and then uh, maybe a play set. Like a like a like a nuts uh, like a, table like a or beat up a beat up green uh, <laughs> green poker table, uh, some sure microphones. That's all. A couple of iPads and, and a can of Ar- Arnold Palmer. Which is gonna have some now. Which um I, uh, so Scott, if you're listening, I know you're listening. Scott's a huge Scott's a huge fan of the network. I see. It does it's good work too. I'm I'm impressed with the packaging. Yeah, and, and as far as and how they you do know, the packaging. you know if Sunday Jeff says that he looks yeah. at paint ops, he looks at everything. Uh, Jeff almost had his own toy show, so you know, almost. If, you know if he puts his own stamp of quality on there, it's good. Yeah, no, it came out really well. So uh, I will finally be updating the Pucknuts blog at pucknuts.wordpress.com, and I'll post a picture up of this. Oh, and I'm holding a mic, which is awesome. Getting down. No, broadcast booth Ming finally lives. That's a that's a C10. A C10. I'm grading the figure. Yeah, we're right. gonna, that's a C10. That's right a C10. Right there. All right. I, I mean, it's one of a kind, so it's priceless. You gonna put it in the other case? Uh, it, w- it it is in the case. I told Scott uh, we have a glass case back here where me and Sunday Just action figures uh, reside, next to a uh, sideshow job of the hut, and uh, screen worn costumes from Clerks too. So it ri- it resides in a place of honor. Uh, all right, so you want to get the, to the hats? Yeah, let's start off with the hats. We're going, uh, I switched them up a little, a little bit. The, the Orioles hat is the rant hat this week because uh, they've dropped their last five Sunday, Jeff. They were they were on a roll. They lo- they won four in a row. They got to back to five hundred. Who's they, the Orioles? The, the Baltimore <laughs> Orioles. The Orioles of Baltimore, my favorite baseball team. Uh, b- before you get on, you know yes. about um, Atlanta. Yes. In the NHL is yes. that was that on the the uh, on, agenda it's in, today? It's, it's on the okay. the rave hat because okay. that's a good thing. So what do we got? Number one, starting off. Jerry Jones has to get permission to attend Romo's wedding. Yes. Did you hear about this Sunday, Jeff? No. Uh, Tony Romo got married this past weekend. Who did he get married to? He got married to uh, Candace Crawford, who was a sport, former sports reporter. Well, that's um, uh, under the wire. Uh, I don't think any. Yeah. I remember hearing anything as far as like you know. So who was she? Who was he dating before? He was dating like um, uh, what's her name? Carrie? Was he dating Carrie Underwood? Jessica Simpson? Yeah, right? one of those. I don't know who. But I'm saying he was he was um dating like a like one of those singers. Yeah, and that was all over the news. But now, that, that, yeah, that was a uh, that was a product of the Jessica Simpson uh, hype machine. She, uh, I don't. She's got a good PR firm behind her. Whatever she does, if you went on vacation, they covered it. If you took a dump, they covered it. If he sneezed, if uh, if uh, they were kissing in the in, in a skybox, they covered it. So uh, yeah, the only thing I heard about this wedding was uh, I guess they had a weird um, reception menu. He insisted on ribs and pizza and um, I guess guy food. They were calling it. Where did he get married? Did he get married um, in the stadium? No, I don't think he got married in the stadium. Uh, I don't know where they got married, but um, uh, if if you put Candace Crawford and Jessica Simpson, I don't know, whoever he was dating before. Side by side, you probably couldn't tell them apart. They were yeah, all she's blonde. Good looking. She's good looking, but they're all blonde, and you know, they're all blonde bombshells, I guess. But they all kind of look the same. Uh, but uh, as part of this uh, stupid NFL lockout, the uh, the owners are not allowed to have any contact with the players whatsoever. So, so why would he still have to be, have permission when it's an outside? It, it's kind of nothing uh, it to doesn't do. matter. It doesn't matter. Outside, inside. Um, I, I, I mean, I guess they have to bar any outside contact uh, just so the owner or whatever couldn't go to a player's house that makes no after sense, hours. Though. It's got and, nothing to do with football. It's, it has absolutely nothing to do uh, with football. I mean, they're worried stuff. about you know con- contract negotiations, uh, you know, talking about plays, anything. They're just really trying to – It's I mean, He's not the playmaker anyways. He's not the coach. He's the owner of the team. He's the one that basically gives them the money for the check. You know, for the check. It's just you know, as a courtesy, you would you would in, uh, invite the owner of you know, if, yeah, if you were absolutely, yeah, a and, football team, yeah, to or your the wedding. coach or coaches. Oh, I'm sure or, he had play- Yeah, well, uh, was there coaches or players at the wedding? Uh, I only heard about. They, uh, I don't. They had to be, but you know, they only publicized uh, this one since you know Jerry Jones is uh, such a public figure. 
because I don't know if the players can the players practice. I think they can practice on their own. They just can't yeah. use the facilities. Yeah, which I think is cool. If you um, if you hear, like Eli Manning has uh, done his own uh, like um, training camp. Camp Manning, I think they call that, and um, it's cool. They're practicing at a high school field. Yeah, right Sanchez now. was doing it too. I think Sanchez out in was doing it out in California. Um, well, you know what? You got to give them. You know, I like those players though who are doing that because, yeah. regardless, they're they're still trying to stay in shape. Yeah. And because well, you figure the training camp should be starting very shortly, anyways. I think it starts in July. I mean, you you, you figure you well, got pretend, well, you know, hopefully. Oh, really? You're supposed to start. You know, training camp that like the end of this month, beginning of July, and then you already have preseason games in August. Yeah. So you can't have, you know, if this goes on much longer, you're actually getting into that point where it could be problemsome against for some of the players. Yeah, absolutely. Because this is where they want to meet together and start going over plays, which they can't do. Right. And you can't start scouting new players who you want to make the cut on your team. Right. And it's a potential problem. So they better either get going or, you know, that's, you might not see an NFL team. Yeah, even or, beyond that, uh, people are talking about injuries. If, uh, you know. Sure. Sure, uh, sure. Could, uh, not, not without, practicing. without the conditioning, without, you know, the proper uh, stretching out of the muscles or whatever. They uh, should do that all year, though. I mean, regardless whether you make the playoffs, you don't, you know, when your season ends, you should still stay somewhat. In physical shape, you know. Yeah, it's tough though without a whole team, especially football team sport where you're running certain drills with other players. It's tough to do by yourself. Yeah, but still lift weights, do whatever you need yeah. to do. I mean, just stay, you know, active. I'm not saying to, to go in like midseason form as far as what you're supposed to do, yeah. but I would think that the money that these players, especially the money that you're getting, it's like you, you got to stay in shape. You're a professional athlete. You know, you're, you know, especially if you're a young athlete, just signed a big contract. You know, the, a lot of people get. Injured in preseason and they can't even play the full season. Yeah. And they, they get hurt in the first game and they're done. They're like, you know, toward whatever, quadricep or. You yeah, know, so quadriceps or obliques. Obliques you know, has been or a big Anything with lately. their torn meniscus or yeah. ACL and then they're out Turf for a certain amount, yeah, <laughs> certain amount of time. And it's it, and it could cost a team, you know, potential a run at the Super Bowl. Yeah. You know? Well, yeah. if there is a run this year, it's not looking good. Yeah, that'd be weird. It's not looking good. And um and we'll, uh, we'll see if crime goes up like we talked about last week. Yeah, yeah. All right, what do we got next? Beer sales will go down, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, overpriced beer sales. What do we got next? All right, which one was this That's now? the Revelation hat. Yeah, let's, we'll try Revelation. See if, uh, see if we got anything good. These were, these all came from, came in from last minute from Twitter. What is your secret favorite chick flick? Yeah, you watch a lot of movies. You got a lot of DVDs. <clears throat> uh, or is every... Every movie, None of these, so every off. movie in your collection in action, drama. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, no romantic comedies. No. No. Uh, no, 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 no. Really? No. Even not you know not not even something out of the dollar bin. No. I. I mean, my wife has a lot of these movies. I'm just the opposite. Do you watch them with her? Yeah, you know, it's, I always argue with my wife. It's like I don't make her. You know, she always says, "Oh, why don't we uh, watch something together?" So I can't sit through some of those movies. Really, I mean, it's not not that I'm a bad person yeah. or that I just don't. Yeah, you have no it's interest. Just, I, I have no like interest baseball. in it. Like golf. But I don't like like if I'm watching a horror. She doesn't absolutely no likes any kind of horror movies yeah. at all. So if I'm watching a horror movie, I don't expect her to watch it. Yeah. You know, if you don't like something, why would I put you through? You know, the you know the so, horror of watching what I'm watching. So no Red State. She's not no. watching Red State. Uh, yeah, I don't think. Oh, she <laughs> she'd probably watch it until you know one of the scenes. Yeah. And then yeah, that would pretty, be about uh, it. I don't want. We don't to, want to spoil anything. Yeah, that's why I don't want awesome. to go too too much in detail. It's but pretty awesome. But uh, I don't. I mean, so I mean, what would you consider a chick flick? I mean, I just. Uh, I, I'll I'll rattle off two that uh that that. I'll tell you if I've seen them or not. Um, one is uh, Ever After the no. Drew Barrymore movie. Never seen. It. That might get me killed. What's, or, what was the, the Drew if Walt, Barrymore? If, if Walt or Brian were here, I'd get killed for that one. But uh, <laughs> I, um, that I don't know. I, I saw a couple years ago. It's not a bad movie. Uh, Aaron Brockovich. Never saw it. Um, as, as, actually, and Quinn Stanley, they were both written by the same woman, so that might have something to do with it. Um, big shout out to Susanna Grant. Who what wrote, else? Any other ones? Who wrote both of those? Any um, other ones? I Pretty in Pink. Would that be considered? No, that's a John Hughes movie. That that that. I've seen can, that one. Yeah. Uh, mean Girls. That, no. that you know that's a good that's a good movie. Overall. White chicks I saw is that a, is white, that, <laughs> white chicks is that a, is that a chick flick? Uh, it has the word chick in it, but uh, I think that that also might appeal to anybody who likes bad comedy. That uh, you know along the lines of Good Burger and uh, and Joanna Man. Actually, I was watching a movie. She flipped it on. 
I think the other night it was what she was, and I watched about maybe about half of it. Yeah. I actually watched half of it with her. It was um, it's with Jennifer Lopez. And um, she has pre- she gets pregnant with twins, but she's like artificially inseminated, and she winds up meeting this guy. I don't know the name of the film. I don't either. It's, it's, that, uh, it was on the other night, and I was uh, actually watching a bit of. Did it. you make it? it was, oh, okay, so you didn't make it. Through but the whole it's, thing. You know what is? I watch those films. I like, actually, like, you know, like, I think any 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 Jennifer Lopez, uh, you know, uh, with the exception of Jersey Girl, maybe. Um. But I don't know. It must be something with just women in general. It's just that. Life doesn't happen like that. It's yeah. all bullshit. You don't meet somebody <laughs> like that. You don't, nobody sits there in the middle really? of the street and proposes to you. It just yeah. doesn't happen. It's just, it's fantasy. And I, and I think that's what everybody wants is that fantasy. It's just not, it don't happen like that. Well, it's bullshit. What about Star Wars? That's a fantasy. <laughs> yeah, but you know it's a fantasy. You go right, in because okay, it's science you. fiction. Right, it's right, fake. I hear you. So mostly the chick flicks, they try to, uh, they try to pass it off but as it's, reality. But they're all like tear jerkers and everything else, you know. I mean, uh, I saw Set It Off. That's a good movie. Set It Off. That's not, but there's chicks in it. So yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah, it's yeah. chick flit. Wait, which, what's that about? I'm thinking. That's with, um, what's her name? It's with Queen Latifah. That, They're uh, like that, bank that's, robbers that's, and yeah, stuff. All right, that's that actually a, a pretty good movie. That's an action, that's an action flick. All right. Well, that's my chick flick. Yeah. I could watch that. Is that the, is that the one at the end where, um, they get caught and they're in a courtroom. Yeah, they room. kill everybody except for the one girl. She yeah. winds up um, – well, the one girl, Queen Latifah, she kills herself. I mean, yeah. Or she just basically comes out of the car that, and um, just starts shooting Did the Hughes brothers her. direct that one? I don't remember. That's, that's what uh, – um, what, are the, what are those two up to? Eh. Who knows? Who knows? All right. Well, what do we got next? I'm going to pick a devil hat. All right. Devil hat's a rave hat now just for no reason except uh, they have not dropped their last five games. Jim Tressel resigns as OSU head coach. Yes. Do you follow college football at all? Not really. I um I like I'm a big fan of college football. Uh, reason one, I went to the University of Michigan, which is a huge college town. The the uh, you know big blue, uh, you know go blue. They have uh, their stadium seats over a hundred thousand. And Crazy. Uh, yeah, it's nuts. Uh, there is nothing like being at a live Michigan game, no matter who they're playing. Um, even and I and I was there. Um, I was there from ninety two to ninety six. So uh, they had a couple. They had some very good runs during that year. Not like uh, not like the recent past. Uh, so Ohio State's the, the uh, Michigan's biggest rival. It's like Devils Rangers, mm-hmm. and uh, the Ohio State football team uh, always very almost always very successful. They went uh, twelve and one this year. They went. They won the Sugar Bowl. Always, uh, you know, I, and I, I, you know, I gotta give it up to him. Their teams are good. I, you know, as much as I hate it. How long do you coach for? Uh, he's been there for a while and he's, you know, he's had nothing but success. Um, and, uh, you know, big, uh, recently they've been involved in a lot of scandal. A lot of their players from, uh, the recent and the past mm-hmm. were caught selling memorabilia to a tattoo, a, a tattoo parlor located in Columbus. Yeah, I can never really get. I mean, I do uh, occasionally. I'll flip it on, but I just can't really. Except that music, that band music, just drives me that crazy. Really? When they, yeah, when they get a score to touch on, I like that. Dan, crazy dan, good dan, or crazy dan, bad? Dan, dan. It just, it just. I don't. Know, it reminds me of a high school game. It's just, and they have the. Yeah, nothing um, wrong with high school games. Like you look at the NFL players, and I'm, some of the college players do it too, but. They have like no socks on. It's like the, the, the school doesn't have enough money to give them socks or whatever. Uh, I think there's got to be a reason for why you would play like that. I would think that you'd want your socks on there to go up to your knee pads so you'd be somewhat yeah. protective. But it looks like, you know, it's like they, uh, they don't have the, the uniform. NFL? I don't remember. I don't see anybody really? in the NFL playing with skin on there. I think they have a dress. I mean, they actually have a code yeah, yeah, that yeah, they yeah. have to abide by in the NFL. I think they have enough money. Most of these teams are sponsored by Reebok, Nike, you know, the big, the big, uh, the big corporations. <laughs> but I do like some of the, um, their overtime rules, yeah. Like when you can go back, you know, they go each at least every team gets a touch at the right. ball. Yeah, so Which I, I do totally like fair. that, you know. But again, in the NFL, you have people that'll fight you. Say, well, if uh, you got your best defense against your best offense, or vice versa, you know, you know, whoever gets you know the ball first, if your defense stops them, they did them job. You know, yep. they did your job. And then if the offense scores, well, your defense didn't do its job. But I think that everybody should get at least one touch. Yeah, you know, I would like. That. I don't know about maybe at whatever they start at the twenty yard line. You know, that's that's real short for the NFL. That can be one play real right. quick and you're done. Right. I'm trying to find Trust's overall record. I, I mean, I know it's huge. He's been a picture of success. Um, and uh, and uh, he had. To, I mean, he was involved in the, the scandal. Basically, uh, players, former players, sold memorabilia to a, a tattoo parlor. Uh, a guy, the guy's in jail now, so he was shady. But you know, selling memorabilia to get money. 
against NCAA rules. So uh, I um I don't know what's going to happen to the organization. They may face sanctions, but uh, this was this is pretty huge to have a, a coach with this much success. Resigned. They down on that for some reason. Yeah, it's NCAA. Uh, uh, well, really I mean, that's on. why that's why I like college football. That's why I like college sports. Is that it's supposed to remain pure because these guys don't get paid huge contracts. You know, there's the. They're supposed to be playing because, you know, they love to play and it's supposed to be a pure sport. But It is until they get drafted by the NFL. Yeah. And they get corrupted. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, for the players, you know, I can uh, I can sympathize with them because the colleges are making a ton of money off them. Merchandising, TV deals, sure. all that shit, and they don't get anything. Well, again, if you're good enough, eventually you will get rewarded down the road. Yeah. Well, you know, what if you blow out your knee your senior season? You don't get jack. You know, no. If you're kicking well, they should give you at least a free hoodie or something. Or well, I think I think they get that, and you know, uh, and they get sponsored. You know, Nike, Reebok. Like I said, they get paid a ton of money. So you still go down to record books if you're. Yeah, that ain't as good, good enough as, player. That ain't as good. Heisman Trophy. That uh, that don't get any get you any money though. So all right, moving on. What do we got next? Anyone? All right, I'm gonna take one of these bad boys. All right, what's to say? If you had to swap lives with any of the other, tell them Steve, Dave, Puck, Nets, crew, who would it be and why? I thought this was a good question. This is a good question. I thought this was a very good question. Um, I gave it a lot of thought. And uh, I remember a couple weeks ago, uh, if anybody's, a, I think, a Tell Him Steve, Dave fan. Maybe it was on Puck Nets where he called Brian a genius. For I now. still wouldn't want to trade places with Brian. You want to trade places with Brian? I don't think I'd really want to trade places with anybody. Not, not to say that, well, nothing I, against anybody, but it's just – uh, I just really wouldn't want to trade places, even if even if I had a choice. I that's, just still really wouldn't want a place. That's the smart answer. Um, well, not so smart. I mean, if it's I mean, unless somebody's you know uh, you know flying a Gulf Stream, making millions of dollars. Yeah, which is not us. So <laughs> you know, uh, I was trying to see the way the pros and cons of everybody, Brian. Uh, if you were to take certain things out of each person, I mean, it's like I would like to have, uh, you know, the less responsibility that Brian has to where, you know, I can be basically, you know, was, do what I want over the course of the it was, day. That was a very classy way to put it. You know, it's, well, I'm not saying, uh, but as, as far as like to, if I was to pick out each thing, I mean, I mean, it's nice that you'd be able to sit there and spend time with, you know, like yeah. he spends time with these. I'd love to do yeah. that every day yeah. and spend time with Absolutely. my kid, you know, and it's, it's just rather than going through the daily grind of work. Um, Walt, well, I'd rather still do what Walt does during the day, you know, sitting in the comic book store, you know, doing this kind of retail yeah. than the other stuff that I would do. Uh, as far as Quinn, I don't know if I want to be a firefighter. That's still a dangerous fucking job. It is dangerous. <laughs> Although, uh, you know, he does work uh, 48 hours a week, but keep in mind that's two 24 hour shifts. It is. So, um, I don't know if they're back. No, they're, I mean, they're definitely not back to back, but you, uh, you do work a lot of hours, but you end up having like a block of, blocks of free time, which, which must be nice. Um, as far as you, I would say, well, you go to more devil games than anybody else. I yeah, mean, that if you is have fun. that time to where you can go, I mean, I would definitely like to go to you know a lot more games. Do we get tickets by any way for next year? Uh, where well, that still remains <laughs> to be seen. I'll let you know. I didn't hear nothing about that, so I'll know. let you know. I heard the cookies are bigger and better next year, so Good. thanks, Kev. Uh, <laughs> yes, thank you if you're listening. Um, all right, those are those are good pros and well, we didn't really list any cons, but well, there's you know I don't really don't want to. All right, bottom <laughs> line, anybody, bottom line, we like where we're at. You know, we have no, I, I we have like. No uh, what about you? Me? If uh, you had your choice, uh, you know I I I, I do like uh, you know Brian does get to spend a lot of time with uh, his niece, which um which would be awesome to spend more time with the kids and the family. Uh, Walt, I like his outlook on life. Where I whereas I'm, uh, I. I take everything. Uh, I try to take everything very positively, and uh, I I don't know. But Walt Walt always sees the worst case scenario in things, which well, is actually which you're is you're more positive than he's more. I think more negative. Yeah, but seeing the uh, worst case is not always a bad thing. It uh, it it, uh, it puts you on guard. You know, you, you uh, tend to be a little more careful. Which he's very cautious, which is a good trait. Um, uh, you can't I, go through your life walking on eggshells. No, you can't. I must be tough too. So I, you know, try to strike that balance. Um, you, I like how you get Mondays off. Mondays. Are, yeah, but you got to work Saturdays. You got to work Saturdays, <laughs> and you also work Sundays. So, 
Um, yeah, I don't know how you do it, but uh, I, I like it. I admire your de- I admire your dedication. All right. You're uh, you know you got you got a lot of integrity as we've mentioned before. So, but bottom line, we like where we're at. Whoever asked this question, I should start yes, writing do. down. But all right, so thank you. I think. All right, what do we got next? Let's go with this one. Oh Lord, Tiki Barber, ex Giants running back, compares himself to Holocaust victim and Frank in an interview. Yes, did you hear about? That? Uh, I um, I mean, is Tiki Barber going nuts? He's well, he is nuts. <laughs> For, I, I mean, just what he did to his wife, he would be. I mean, that's true. <laughs> how much more nutty? Can, that's he true. Uh, what happened? He beat her up. He did, was he, she he holding her? He, yeah. he was, was she cheating on her. Kid? Oh, he's cheating uh, on there her. There was a bunch of that. I mean, I remember reading in the paper, but it's just you know, this is the problem with you get to a certain point in your life. I mean, you had a, a pretty successful career with the Giants. You didn't win a Super Bowl. If you hung around and you kept your mouth, you yeah. might have, would have. But you know what? I don't think they would ever, I, I think the Giants did the right thing by getting, I mean, getting off the subject oh, yeah. a little bit. <laughs> by between him and Shockey, though, they were the biggest disruptions on the team. Yeah. You yeah. know, and when those two players left, yeah, look what they, happened. you saw a totally different Eli Manning the following season. Yeah. You know, it's just that I think that he was, you know, as a person, you know, he, he got his show, you know, that he was doing, which I don't think he is, he's not even no, on no, that no, anymore, right? No, so that's not gone. Anymore. You know, I don't think he'd be on anyways after the up. whole thing with his wife anyway. So and, is uh, uh, is Rondé this crazy? Is his brother? Yes. I, I, well, you don't. You're not in Tampa Bay area, so you really. Yeah. But you still would hear about something, though. I would imagine you. But then again, he's got a Super Bowl ring. Yeah. No. Uh, but this Tiki, uh, he he was quoted in a Sports Illustrated article saying um, uh, that he uh, he moved with his girlfriend to his uh, his into his agent's house for uh, whatever reason. And he claimed that they were hiding out in his attic, and uh, since and he was saying, since his agent is Jewish, that he was hiding in his attic, attic like Anne Frank, <laughs> or he called it a reverse Anne Frank. But I'm like, why, 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 why even mention that? Who cares? I would it's think so that weird. financially, uh, he should be. You know, again, every you know professional athlete does different things with their finances. I mean, some do the smart things, some do the stupid things. Yeah. But I would think that he would have, you know, at least a place to live. Yes. So uh, why he moved into his agent's house, I'm not sure. It also mentions here, I, I didn't hear this, that he's trying to, he's co- he's trying to come back. So yeah, no, that's this I did her. I mean, it's, he's I been away the from the game. I know the Giants don't want him. No, uh, no, I know most, back. I know probably 20 out of the 30 teams don't want him. Not after um, what was said, that whole deal with the Eli Manning deal. I'm and trying to, what, uh, what team is desperate enough to take Tiki Barber? I don't know if anybody would take him. Detroit? I mean, they might <laughs> give him a tryout, but I just don't, I'm not saying that he's not, I mean, he was, he definitely was good, he was a good running back. Was he a great running back? Wasn't great. No. But he was, good. he was an excellent all around running back. Yeah. Um, I think that his leadership skills weren't there, but I don't think that he would be a, uh, I don't think people would just like totally turn him off. I think they might give him a you know a, 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 a shot to try out yeah, for the team. But, he, but he's been away from he's been the, out game the game for, for about a while. four years. That's right. a long time. You, you don't. Just, it just doesn't come back. But not only the four years that you're gaining physically, but mentally, you've been away from the game. Yeah. You don't know certain plays, and you don't know. You know, you, you're gonna also the players have gotten bigger since you've been there, and you, <laughs> you know you're again you're four years older. Those hits. Or, I mean, other than Brett Favre, Brett Favre is a robot. I don't know how any – I mean, that guy, I give all the credit in the world, to play football yeah, yeah, yeah. at 40 years old and take not those hits like that. Game. But to take the hits that he's that he's taken yeah. and, and the shots like that – like last year or the year before when I saw him at that uh, – on the press conference, yeah. he literally looked like he went like 12 rounds with the, with the heavyweight <laughs> champion of the world. Yeah. It, it was just – that guy got beat up and I mean – uh, again, you know, I throw, you know, I start running around and I start throwing a football and, you know, I'm only three years old and I'm, you know, and uh, <laughs> I don't feel good. Yeah. I'm not, the next morning I'm sore, yeah, so I'm beat up. Uh, yeah. I just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I give uh, all the hats off to, to a guy that can play a, a yeah. season like that. You it's know. a Nerf football. You're not playing on a hundred yard field. Yeah. He's grayer than me. I'm pretty gray, but you know. Yeah, you uh, are. Yeah. He's you still are. grayer than me, but. Well, at football. But at football. Let's, still, uh, let's not go nuts here. I wouldn't want to take that chance. Yeah. I, w- I would stay off the field. All I right. would have retired about ten years <laughs> earlier than he did. Uh, yeah, he loved it. He loved the game. He yeah, loved he did. the game. I think uh, he wanted uh, some records broken though too, because he did. He was not? hovering some of those those uh, records, and now he did break some of those records. You know why not? Why not? 
I'm, well, you know, I'm sure some fans would Another concussion, that. that's why not. Okay, wanna, good point. I definitely would want another concussion. Good point. Good point. All right, let's just move into this. Uh, it's a, it's official Sunday, Jeff. Uh, the uh, Atlanta Thrashers are moving to Winnipeg. They've been bought by the uh, a, a consortium called the True North Sports and Entertainment Group. And uh, they'll be moving to Winnipeg for the 2011-2012 uh, season. I think I've mentioned before, this is anytime you get another team in Canada, it's a good thing. Win- uh, Winnipeg, obviously, a great hockey market. Um, so my question is, uh, what are they going to be called? Uh, hopefully the Winnipeg Jets. Yeah, I, I really, they should. They should be going back to the Jets. Um, most indications say that they're not. That um, They might change it, though, because of the, the rumor is the uh, they're going to go with the Manitoba Mace name, and that would indicate the, the Moose, the Winnipeg Moose, which no. Yeah. Call them the freaking Jets. Just bring back the Jets. You know why? Because the, you know there's still people up there that might have the old jerseys. And yeah, old exactly. Merchandise. This way you got you got a whole new. It's all merchandise. Yeah. Now you got new <laughs> stuff to sell, and you know all that shit's uh, that's classic now. That's, that's a good vintage. point. I still see people at Devil's Games and Scouts jerseys. You can still have Rock- a throwback game. Rockies jerseys. Yeah, you have the throwback uh-huh. game. Sell the throwback jersey. You know what? That's a good point. It's all about money. See, that's what I like the NHL to do. I'd like to see the NHL like Carolina put like one game out of year, put a Hartford Whalers jersey yeah. on, or have the North Stars wear. I mean, like the Dallas Stars wear the North. Stars jersey and just I'd like to see even though they're not playing in that territory I think they look pretty cool. Speaking of the Whalers, uh, the Hartford, the formerly named uh, Hartford Wolfpack, the uh, AHL, the change their name to the uh, Connecticut Whale, and uh, I guess there's an FHL out there, the Federal Hockey League. Uh, they're changing their name to the Danbury Whale, Danbury Whalers. So um, I'm wondering, uh, should they keep, should they keep the the Whalers name sacred and just uh, yeah, it's still in the same state? Yeah, no. that's true. But it's not like there's somebody's dissing them. I mean, it is in their own state. That's true. You know, what? I I think if anything, it's a hats off to like you know, hey, we want our hockey team back as well. Yeah, my opinion is that any team can call themselves the Whalers uh, as long as they play the song. Yeah, I think there's a lot the of teams song. out there though. That I are... love I love the song. Anytime this, uh, they they play the song, uh, I, they played at a Red Sox game once. What brass bonanza? Yes, love the brass bonanza. Love the brass bonanza. So I think uh, you know. If, if uh, more bra- more brass bonanza, that's uh, that's 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 what I say. I feel I still feel sorry for. Us. I mean, because there is some Atlanta fans out there who really didn't appreciate their team I, being there. Did you, you know? hear the? I don't know if there's a rumor now by them. Bunch of fans threw kind of like a farewell barbecue tailgate in the parking lot, and mm-hmm. only 200 people showed up. But again, it's as far as hockey market. I mean. We've been to some devil games, yeah. and there's there's people that really don't belong to. I mean, you go to certain sure. sporting games. Sure, oh, it's all not the sporting. Time. It's just basically you're just there. You're just there. You know? th- you're there to chat. And we drink. have one of those guys here. He's not here now. That's a but good point. We have one. But yeah. you have people that go there, and it's a it's a social event. They're not really there to watch the game. That's you do that. That doesn't happen in Chicago. That doesn't yeah. happen in Detroit. Right. That doesn't happen in Boston. It I mean, it's just it's just that doesn't happen in Canada. Exactly. They're there for a reason, but. Again, you still probably had your people in Atlanta that were true fans. You probably had people who were really dedicated to watching the sport yeah. and, and really were into the sport. You know, it's and there's other territories. Phoenix isn't really a good market either right no. now, as far as what I'm hearing. And it's moving like, back to Quebec. You know, it's it's some of these teams that I think that were taken away from. You know, I mean, you don't want all Canadian uh, teams either, no. but you you don't want to take away. You know, people that are actually willing to, to that want the sport there, that want to watch it. You know, if they're in a market that's not going to be able to watch the sport, and really has no no yeah, uh, move it out of there. Why have a foundation exactly. for a team there if you're not going to have anything to support? Right. It? There's only so much trying you can do you know? before you you know. Their biggest thing is I think they're going to be in the southeastern division, yeah. and that's going to be a lot of fucking traveling. Uh, it is. I think it'll uh, it'll be worth. <laughs> it's going to be a lot, of, but I think in, within another uh, within another year, I think another team is going to be going, and yeah. they'll, you're going to see a, re- a realignment of the divisions. Not so much our division. I mean the Devils division. Yeah. But I think you'll start yeah, to see a realignment divisions. of some of the other divisions. Absolutely. So speaking of hockey, Sunday, Jeff, uh, the finals are upon us. Uh, the Bruins pulled it out. They did. Which uh, it was odd. After a lot of high-scoring games with Tampa Bay, uh, to have it end up one zip. Yeah, I was uh, actually thinking that Tampa Bay was going to win that game. After I, um, they, they came back from that down, being down that in game six, yeah, I thought they were actually going to go back and uh, win. win the yeah, I, th- uh, I thought they did. Uh, even when there were three minutes left, I thought uh, you know with that the offense, I thought Tampa Bay could could at least tie it, but uh, wasn't meant to be. Tim Thomas stood strong. 
Uh, now, now they face the uh, the Canucks. Uh, what's I think I guess it's time. What's your prediction? My prediction, you know, as, as much as that, I would wouldn't mind seeing the Bruins win. I still think that the Vancouver Canucks have a better team overall. Yeah. But you know, again, they you know that's why you play seven though. But the Sedin Twins have been playing much yeah. better in this last last yeah. round. Now, if they're starting to play the way that they're supposed to be playing, I mean, it's it's going to come down to some. I mean, again, certain goaltending. Yeah, I mean, Bruins got some good players on their team too. They're, yeah, they, absolutely. They got some Charo, good players. They, they they do. But and you're also going against two goaltenders. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and and Thomas. Honestly, I think really is the better goaltender the way he's been playing. Yeah. You know, he's, that, uh, again, I think he's been playing, but I think the offense, you know, Boston's another one of those funny teams. They could, they could score like five, six goals in a game and then they could be shut out. Yeah. You know, it, it, you saw Tampa Bay, Tampa, how many goals did Tampa Bay have in game six? Or and there was one game that they were like, they won like seven to two. Yeah. And, and then it just, it's, it, it goes up. back and forth. Yeah. It's just like, there's no consistency of play. Right. You know, and they won what? What? Or, well, they wound up getting an empty goal or empty net. So it was, it was really the one goal that, and it was a good goal. Yeah. I, don't, I don't fault their goalie. You know, again, the guy was the role. I mean, he was, how old's that guy? And yeah, he's 41. Playing, he's doing, right? he's, and he was, you know, almost made it to the finals. So. Exactly. So, and with the talent that they have, you know, I wouldn't have expected them to, um, I thought it was going to be very close though. Yeah. I thought really uh, Tampa uh, Bay was going to come back and pull it out. Yeah. With, with the talent overtime, they had. yeah. Overtime, double overtime didn't happen. But I think after, uh, what happened last year with Boston and, um, you know, I, I, I'm kind of, you know, glad that they're in, in that they made it, you know, after, to come over what happened last year yes. and to be in this situation yeah. now is just a triumph to begin with. I mean, so, to go through that because you could have been strength. right, you could have been in two Stanley Cups. Yeah, you know. So, uh, what's your prediction? How many games? Uh, I still think it's going to go pretty long, though. I, I think it's going to be. I'm going to say probably six. I'm going to go, go six I'm games. Say Vancouver and six because the teams don't really face each other. You know, can I see Boston squeaking out that first game? Yeah, they've had a longer layoff too. Yeah, Vancouver. Yeah. You know, but it's, it's going to come down which team wants it more. Vancouver, it's been just about as long as them. They were in it in 94, and the Bruins were, what, 92? Yeah. You know, so. So I think they're all going to be tight games? I'm going to say it's going to be more defensive game. All right, so you know? we're, we're looking I more. really don't show an interest in it. It's just, it's yeah. weird. You just hear those two teams. It's like, you know, Vancouver and, and Boston. You know, it's just like weird teams. Yeah. You would, you would think it'd be like the Capitals, yeah, yeah, the Capitals yeah, and, uh, and the Red yeah, Wings, yeah. or just uh, you know Pittsburgh and even Pittsburgh and Vancouver. Yeah. I mean, so, I mean, but overall, Vancouver was the best team in the yeah. NHL, and they're yeah, they're well, showing they, why. they kicked the Devils' ass this year, you know? so that's all. <laughs> but this is what shows you know a couple of years ago they weren't that good. This yeah. is why draft picks are yep. very essential. Absolutely. So all right, so you hear that, Canada? Me and Sunday Jeff think the Cubs coming back north this year. Yeah, it's so. been a while too. All right, Jeff. Last question. Uh, Walt's party. Have you been assigned a task? Uh, what do you think about the, uh, the, I think the $60 we're ponying up for the, the moon bounce now? Oh, it's a moon bounce. Yeah. Uh, Walt showed me a picture. I'm going to see, I'll post it up on the blog if I have time, but it's, it's not blown up, is it? Oh, it's, it's definitely blown up and, uh, it's huge. This thing, um, it's like, uh, I don't know, it's like 200 square feet or 60 square feet or something like that. It's got a built in slide. It's crazy. It's got a basketball. It's got a basketball hoop in there. Really? It's nuts. Yeah. And um, to make you sign a waiver before you go through his. Uh, his you know what? That's a good question. That's so don't good, break your leg at Walt's house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Liabilities, all that. Uh, so uh, if I'm if I'm understanding right, we're we're each pointing up sixty bucks for the moon bounce. Yeah, it's worth it if the um, kids use it all day. He called me. Gave me a huge list of stuff that we have to bring. Uh, I think I volunteered to bring drinks and. Something. I think. Are you bringing condiments? Is that what I heard? Yeah, that's what I was. I was All chosen right. to do. All right. Relish, ketchup, mustard, maybe some spicy mustard in there. Nothing's um, the norm when it comes to Walt. No, there it is. There is no norm with Walt. There is no norm. Uh, are we going name brand? I'm definitely going name brand. I don't buy that. Sure, I'll bring French's. He didn't yeah. tell me which mustard he likes. French's, or you want the golden? Yeah, the, I'm a big the Deli style. Fan. I'm definitely bringing Coke, Pepsi. You know, I'll go both for each type. I'll go Coke, Pepsi. You know, uh, go Heinz, Heinz Seven Up, Sprite. Yeah, I, I'm I'm going all out, man. I have no. Uh, it's gonna be a big. This is gonna be a good party. It's gonna be a big good party. Uh, I hope so. 
My wife did last time my kid threw up in the pool, so I wasn't. Yeah, doing that. right. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, where whose fault was that? Gonna, Everybody blames it was Walt. So it was Walt. Really Walt's All right. Fault. It really was. And there was just, there was a couple. Was, was he going crazy with the water yeah, there was just set? a lot of people in the pool. And, you know, my kid doesn't know how to, to swim. Yeah. And she's, like, on one of those little life rafts. Yeah, so she And she, she just, like, water. swallowed some water. Yeah. So, and, you know, of course, she just had, like, this hot dog, whatever she was eating. And, you know, half yeah. of it came up. <laughs> All right. So it was <laughs> looked like, uh, you know, looked like I was chumming the oh. water there for a shark. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, this time I'm swimming before eating. Um, but here, uh, I'm going all name brand. I have, uh, I, I, I can handle this responsibility. I'm good for it. Bring our flips. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you know, yeah. Maybe we will. Our collector we'll put, item flips. Flip cameras. We'll put it. We'll, we'll get a YouTube channel going. Those will never be made again. Those no, are collectors items. Collectors items, just like the uh, Ming and Sunday Jeff uh, action figures. So, all right. I think that's all I got. Uh, hopefully next week, we'll have all, all four nuts will be joining us, and uh, I'll, I'll take some more abuse. So uh, until next week, uh, Rangers eat nuts. See you then. All righty. Find more funny shit like this at Smodcast.com. Hi, I'm Kevin Smith. I'm Jen Schwalbach. And here's what's happening every day at Smodcast.com. On Sunday, it's me and Scott Mosier doing the original Smodcast. On Mondays, it's Hollywood Babylon with Kevin Smith and Ralph Garman. On Tuesdays, it's Blowhard with Malcolm Ingram. Also on Tuesday, my personal favorite, Plus One. That's the one where you and I talk. That is. And you get naked. (laughs) On Wednesdays, it's me and Jason Mewes doing Jay and Silent Bob Get Old. On Thursdays, it's Puck Nuts with Walt Flanagan, Ming Chen, and Brian Johnson. And don't forget Sunday Jeff. And then on Friday, they lose Sunday Jeff, and it's just Walt Flanagan, Bri Johnson, and Brian Quinn, and sometimes Ming Chen taking some abuse on Tell Em Steve Dave. On Saturdays, it's Red State of the Union. Highlands, a peephole history. One of the shows iTunes chose one of the best podcasts of 2010. Smarriage at Smodcastle, one of my favorites. That's where I actually become Rev Kev and marry motherfuckers. We sit down, interview them, find out about their entire lives. At the end of it, they're literally married. And all of it's free. Don't cost you a dime. Seven days a week, we bring you the free funny. Nice. You sound like a pitch person there, man. What else can you sell me? Show me a little boo. I'll buy. <sighs> Smartcast.com. <laughs>